recommendations to county commissioners on what they think should happen to the historic Doniguito neighborhood. It's a plan they say will develop the area and bring back some people who were displaced. ABC 7's Leilo Asitiro has the story. This is a historic moment. David Romo of Paso del Sur is excited about the support his organization received today from El Paso County Commissioners. If Paso del Sur says it wants the county to buy the buildings in Duranguito to either sell them or lease them. They said the county agreed to investigate the possibility. The organization said there's a growing list of investors who want to buy some of these buildings and a nonprofit has expressed interest in bringing back some of the displaced residents who want to come back to Duranguito and create low-income housing. There's a lot of excitement in the air. We've reached out to people and they've reached out to us, including national foundations that have been paying attention to Durandito and they want to help us to preserve and restore. In 2016, the city voted to demolish the neighborhood in favor of a new arena. Controversy and lawsuits followed, with activists fighting against the idea. The city council eventually voted to move the proposed arena plans out of the historic neighborhood, leaving the possibility of what to do with Duranguito open. I think that Paso del Sur has some very good ideas. Max Grossman is an architectural historian. He agrees that something has to happen with the historic area. He has his own ideas. The city and county have to come to some kind of an agreement. Uh, ideally, they would enter into a kind of city-county partnership to create an old town. And then most importantly, uh, once the plan is in place, those 12 properties will be sold back to the private sector. And whoever buys those properties will have the tax credits and will be able to work under the guidance of a strategic city-county plan. Lilo Basitzero, ABC 7.